Welcome today to your Burmex Design It training. This is the 3D Furniture Builder. What you're going to want to do is click on this link here. It will bring you to this page here where you're going to log in with your username and password so you'll have access to your pricing on everything and it's your retail pricing so this is something that you can do with your clients and then as you're building things or choosing uh, products you'll have the exact pricing there for them. This is another great tool because uh, any new introductions that we might come out with at market that might not be in your catalog, you'll have them here with the retail pricing for them. So if there's a new chair that somebody sees online, but it's obviously not in your paperback uh, price list, you can go in here and get the pricing as well. Very nice feature. So first of all, we're gonna build the table. A few of the great uh, features with this is obviously it's a 3D builder, so you get to move whatever uh, product in any angle you want uh, and include zooming in and out of any product. Uh, so first off, it's a five-step process to build an expressions table. So you've got your shape and size, your lags and base, your profile, your apron, and your finish, and your color. Uh, you've got your material, birch, maple, or glass, tabletops, glass, collection, expressions collection, which is three quarter inch, Denali an inch and a half, prestige inch and five eighths, live edge inch and five eighths, and then your Everest, which is a three inch table. Today we're gonna to build an expressions table. This is uh, our largest collection uh, with the most amount of options. So that's why uh, we're gonna build one of those. As we scroll down with this bar here, it's gonna show you all the different sizes available and shapes. There's five different pages. So sometimes what I suggest is you uh, narrow down the search a little bit with your client. So uh, if you know they want a round table, oval, square, rectangular, or single bow or double bow, uh, you choose that. So in this case, let's go with rectangular tables. And then uh, as we scroll down again, you'll see that the options now are three pages of tables. Well, that's still a lot of tables. So uh, you might want to narrow it down more. Uh, you can go without leaves if they're looking for a solid top or with self-storage if they're looking for self-storage or if you know approximately the lengths they want. So let's say if they want something that's 80 inches in length, um, let's scroll down and see what we've got. Okay, so now we've got one pages of options available. So for this particular case here, uh, let's go with uh, a 42 by 84. It's a very common popular size table that we use. Uh, we scroll up, now we've got our new table choice here, uh, and let's go with our section option here, so lags and base. So you've got a wide selection of lags available here, and it doesn't matter what lag you choose, let's say we choose the T lag, it'll pop up, what's great is you get to see this on the table, and it doesn't affect the price. So the price right now is $2,235 for this table. Let's scroll up, let's say they wanted a table with a base. If you knew this already, you wouldn't even have to look at the lag option, you just click on see the bases, and then it's gonna show you all the bases available with this particular table. It will never show you options that are not available. So that makes it very easy and very hard to make a mistake. Uh, let's say for this uh, particular table, we wanna go with the RA30. Uh, it's a newer base, very, very massive, a uh, great base indeed. That's what it's gonna look like on this table. And then you see the price point here has gone up substantially because this is all, again, 100% solid birch. Very, very massive base on this table here. And then you've got lots of other choices as well. Um, so let's say this is the table that the, your clients want. Now you go to profile. Profile means the edge of the table. So when it comes to the edges, you've got four different edges available with the expressions collection. Right now we've got the D edge on there, this one here, and it doesn't matter which edge you choose, all of these edges are gonna be the same price. So for right now, we're gonna continue going with the D edge, and then now aprons. You've got six different aprons available with this particular table. Uh, let's say they want something a little bit more ornate. There you go. So you've seen the price has changed a little bit just because this apron here is a little bit more expensive than uh, the other ones because there's a little bit more detailing in there but now your customer gets to see what that apron is going to look like on that table you go to finishes and colors this is where uh, it's very vast we've got a huge amount of uh, finishes available with all of the Burmex products 
You've got wipe stain, you've got wipe stain brush, you've got artisan, you've got rustic, chamois, century, heirloom, old, sand through, opaque, or worn. So all of these finishes, there's only two that have an upcharge. That's the century finish and the old. So let's go for century right now. This is our most distressed finish. Uh, we're going to go here and then let's say the price is $4,198. We put the ebony uh, century on there. You're going to see the price has gone up by about $300 because anytime you're using an old or a century finish, it ups the price by about 8%. So now you'll notice that only the top of the table has changed. And that's because when we're choosing, it says tabletop. That's the only finish we're selecting right now. If we choose apron and legs and base, now we're choosing the finish for the apron, legs and base. And again, I just put a wipe stain black on there, but if I wanted it to be consistent and use the century finish for the base as well, uh, let's say I go with this desert finish. It might not look the best, but that's what it's gonna look like. Or if I click on same as table, that means no matter what finish I choose, it's going to be on the top, the apron, and the base. So that means one finish. And it doesn't matter if you use one finish or two finishes to, to create a two-tone table. That doesn't affect the price at all. So now that we've created our table, it's got the finish on there. Your client's happy with it. Excellent. Let's put it in the wish list. This isn't something you have to do, it's just a nice tool to have if you're, wanting, if you're building several things with uh, a client. Click on the plus sign here, that is the product right there. And that's going to give you a spec sheet when you do email it to either your client, yourself, or the accounting department, whatever. You scroll down a bit here. Oh, let's click on this again to get rid of that window. Uh, price point, $4,533. Here's the total code of the product here. That's it. it gives you a little description of everything you've chosen with from the finish, uh, the thickness, the size, and then you can go over here and it says create spec sheet. Click on that once and then you're going to have to click it again to see your spec sheet. And now this is showing the exact table we just built, showing you the retail price, everything about the table. And then up here in the corner, you have the option to print this off or you can X out of there. And then if you want, you can go down here. Put in your email and then click here and it'll email it that spec sheet to uh, yourself or your client or your client can email you something so that's how you build a table if you can build one table you can build them all let's go to chairs real quick chairs is going to be basically the same concept same step-by-step -step, uh, process <coughs> excuse me from choosing the uh, chair model that you want or uh, the cushion or fabric or all of those features here. So here you have a huge amount of chairs available, nine different pages. So sometimes what I would recommend is you go back to the website here, you go into chairs, and then you, as you're scrolling down, you get to choose what chair model that your customer wants to see. Let's say the 1627, one of our newer chairs. You just click that, put it 1627. Put it in there and then there it is there excellent so now you click on it there and it's going to come up as the chair that you're customizing and you notice the price point from this chair and the one from before has changed quite dramatically and that's because this one is a fully upholstered chair uh, and it's a lot of detailing that have gone into it again you get to see this chair from any angle you want which is a great tool for your customer if they're wanting to visualize uh, when it comes to seat, it only comes with a, an upholstered seat. Uh, legs, we've got 20 choices of legs to choose from. Doesn't matter what leg you choose to put on this chair, it's all going to be the same price. After that, you go to your finishes. Um, again, if you choose a century or old finish, it'll be an upcharge of 8%. All the other ones, there's no upcharge. And again, you're only choosing uh, the finish for the legs in this particular case. Then you get to choose your upholstery. Upholstery, you've got uh, just normal fabrics, high performance fabric, and vinyls. All of these are going to be the same price. So that would not change the price on this chair of $1,073. If you were to go to a super vinyl, sombrella, or leather, your price point will go up. And we're going to look at that right now. So let's say we choose a sombrella fabric for this chair. Now your price point on this chair is $1,173. But the great thing with the umbrella 
is you're offering that five-year stain-proof warranty. And then you get to see all the umbrellas you want just by scrolling down. You also use this scroll bar if you want to scroll down and see everything else underneath. So now you've got this chair priced at $11.73. Gives you the full code of everything. Again, you can create this spec sheet uh, like we did for the table. And you can also go in here to uh, your wish list. This will pop up with your table here. You can click on this and this will go scroll right back to your table as well. Or you can just press plus. Now it's going to add this chair in there. And you can choose the quantity of chairs you want. So let's say you wanted two because these are just going to be the end chairs. And then we go in here and there's another chair that your customer liked, like the 1225. So you put the 1225 in there. Oh, I'm sorry. We're still in the finishes. So we have to go back to models and then it'll search for the 1225 chair. 1225. There's the chair there. We click on that. I'm going to click on this window just to get rid of the wish list for the moment. That's the same chair, the 1225 chair, but it's got the same finish and the same fabric that we put on the end chairs. So we don't have to do all that customization again. Uh, shows you the retail price of this chair here, all the specs below. We add that to our wish list. So we say plus. And then we want four of these chairs. So now we've got our table, our two end chairs, our two side chairs, or our four side chairs, sorry. Uh, you enter in the email that you want to send this to. I'm just going to put mine in for the moment. And then you press send, and then this is getting sent off to my email at the moment, but you could send this to your client, client could send this to you. And what this does in the email that you receive, it's gonna have a spec sheet for your table, a spec sheet for your chairs, and uh, everything that you could possibly want. And then also with the retail pricing of everything in there. So that's how you build the table and chairs on the design app. But another great tool that I didn't point out to you guys just yet, is uh, if you're building tables and chairs from the website, let's say you're building a table, your customer is scrolling through here, they find, oh, I want to build this table, I love it. You can click on this little customize option here in the corner, and then what's it going to do? It's going to pop up here on the builder with everything that it was already set up with on the website. So you don't have to start from scratch building this table. Let's get rid of this. Sorry, I'm going back and forth a lot, so it's taking a little bit of time to load. So here's the table that we just chose from the website. So this is the exact size table. Now we get to customize it however we'd like. So if you wanted to uh, put a different finish on there, if you wanted to change out the legs or put a base, but you've got your table size. Same concept goes for all of our chairs. So if you wanted to take, um, Going to just choose a basic chair here. Uh, the 1575 chair, nice chair. Hit the customize link. Go back into the builder here. We're in our chair section again. That chair is going to pop up here. You've shown you all the options you can do with this chair. Uh, so, first of all, you just choose a seat. What kind of seats are available? You've got cushion, thick cushion, and wood seats. The lag options, again, doesn't matter what leg you choose, it's all going to be the same price. So right now the chair price is $5.23, you choose this leg, doesn't affect it. Go to finish and coverings, you've got your frame finish, let's say we want black. Uh, and then your upholstery on there, it gives you all the upholstery options sorted out by what kind of fabrics or if you want pattern, plain, different uh, colors. So let's say in this case we want a gray fabric, it's going to show us all of the gray options here. Oh, sorry, I've got to click out of umbrella, and then uh, it's not doing anything because right now I had the 1225 up there. you got to remember, if you've got something in the search bar, it's going to affect anything you press down here. So if you see something's not working for some reason, that's probably why. All right, so these are some of the gray fabrics. You've got 11 pages here. So I don't think I pressed gray there. I must have pressed something else, I think. So these are all the gray ones. Beautiful. So you got four pages of gray fabrics. Um, let's say for right now, we just want the F078. Brilliant. So now 
We've got our chair, our customization is all done. We can create our spec sheet, email it, um, or you can press this enable save as. So that if you click on that and then you right click, you can save the picture as is to your desktop or anything like that. I hope you've enjoyed the training. Please use this tool. It will be uh, make it a lot easier for you and your client, and especially for your client to visualize. Thank you very much.